Hello, how is everybody tonight? Good. Good. Okay, you're a small crowd. You're going to have to make a lot of noise. Let's try that again. How is everybody tonight? Good. All right, that sounds so much better. Thank y'all for coming tonight. Now, I know this is gospel night, but we've got plenty of front row seating up here, and we got the church views right over here. So if you want to get a little closer to the musicians, I'm sure they wouldn't mind as long as you don't throw something at them, all right? See that? We got a brave soul. We got a couple of brave souls. That's good. Y'all kind of a small crowd tonight, so you're going to have to make a lot of noise. We're so glad you're here tonight. We're going to try to make sure, like I always say, we'll feed your soul with the music and we'll feed your belly with the good vittles in the back. Speaking of which, tonight we have barbecue sandwiches, baked beans, potato salad, and then we've got our regular hamburgers, hot dogs, corn dogs, and all that good stuff. And Miss Kathy made an awesome strawberry cake. I have already sampled it and a wonderful chocolate pie. And if I'm not mistaken, I saw Miss Linda bring in, was it a carrot cake? Oh, hummingbird. hummingbird cake. Oh my gosh, I gotta have some of that. I'm gonna get on my way back tonight. But she's also got fried pies back there, apricot, apple, cherry, and peach. I think that's what she got. And they're homemade fried pies like your grandmother used to make. So you can take some of those home with you so you can eat them after church tomorrow. All right. So make sure you go back and see Miss Kathy. If you have not been here before, which I think everybody has, you know we have shows here every Saturday night, so we want to make sure you come back and enjoy it. Next Saturday night, we're going to shift gears completely, and we're going to have Make and Racket back for some good old time rock and roll. And then the following Saturday night, we will have Tommy Ross and TCB, and we'll open up the dance for a little bit. Then the third Saturday night, we will have our Grandpa's Opry with Andy Scruggs, Tori Gent, Ron Smith, and for the first time, David Aaron Bryan, and he is a wonderful singer, so make sure you guys come up and see them. And then the last Saturday night, back by popular demand, will be Southern Image. How many of you know who Southern Image is out of the fact They are an awesome group. Family harmonies and everything, just like this band here, so make sure you come and see them. Also, I need to let you know, uh, when you came in up there, that's the front door, but we also have a back door. It's up the ramp and to the left. We don't ever anticipate anything happening, but if it does, everybody single file, we'll all get out safely. Also very important, bathrooms are up the ramp and to the right. Ladies, they are non-gender specific, so you take the first door that comes open. We don't have to watch the men just keep going while we stand in line, all right? But if that door is closed, please make sure you knock, because if you don't, you're both going to get a shock, and you ain't never going to be able to unsee what you see, okay? So we want to make sure everybody has a good time tonight. Are you guys ready for some music? Oh, yeah. All right, put your hands together tonight for their blooders. Thank you. 
Jesus. Thank you. 
change gears here now. resurrected in the morning and uh it's just a, it's a good service so what it's not anything that we're doing it's just we want to keep focused on on what what the season's all about and and, and uh just keep spreading his word <laughs>
say we appreciate Christy coming up here and helping us. Uh, we don't get together and, and get to practice a whole lot, but when you really good like she is, I mean, everything usually goes good. Yes, you're allowed to be all right. We, we, sure, we sure appreciate her. Sure do. Got the banjo out of tune already. The banjo. Yeah, the banjo. Where are we at, Ed? I'm, I'm lost on the list now. Trying to leave. Did we miss one there, did we? We meant to. Don't do it. You meant to? Don't give all our secrets away. Don't give up me. All right.
that we need to bear. And that is by following the Holy Spirit and letting Him lead us. And isn't it wonderful that He didn't just save us and just just leave us in, in a... We all know that this world is broken. We know that the Bible says that though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, there's death all around us. There's cancer. There's diseases. There's poverty. And, you know, this, this world is broken, but yet he said that he would take care of our every need. He would heal our sicknesses. He would uh, make us the head and not the tail. He would deliver us uh, in finances and, and take care of us in this crazy world. And it's like, that's your cross to bear along with telling people about how wonderful our Father really is. That He is a wonderful Savior. And He has done so much in my life. And it's really sad and embarrassing that I'm almost 49 years old and actually really tapping into some of this stuff that He's done for us. But you know, I bet you there's somebody in here tonight that's going through sickness. And you know Jesus wants to heal that? He wants to he, he bore your your sickness, your disease, you know, by his stripes, that you not only accept him as your savior and having a place waiting on you in heaven, but he bore your sickness and your disease and your poverty. He redeemed you from the curse of the law. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I tell people, if you if you've not ever really grasped that, you probably never danced all over your house. <laughs> When I first started getting that stuff in my spirit, I was like, oh my goodness. He really is the God of the scriptures. And to tell on myself even more, I was actually a preacher. <laughs> you know, the Bible, you know, a lot of times we're just speaking out of the mind. But when you really start getting that in your spirit, when it, you really start getting revelations of these things, and the Holy Spirit really starts leading you because you're believing for these things, it change your life forever. Amen. God is so good. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> okay, we're going to try one called Drifting Too Far. Appreciate that, Chad. <clears throat> kind of forgot how, how it kicked off. <laughs> You're drifting too far. Show. Sure. 
water flying. <laughs> they flat, they flat everybody, washed in the blue. And everybody <clears> sang. <throat> Thank you. 
Crossing the door. 